Hi guys, so long time no video which I apologise for and I always apologise for because I always end up doing this um, but every so often just with the problems that I have I end up really tired and stuff um, but I was missing making videos and I thought I will make a little um, favourite slash haul video tonight um, partly because of stuff in the haul I kind of want to do a first impressions for when I'm getting ready tomorrow morning which I will hopefully get up in time to do um, I know everybody else has kind of like end of the month favourite kind of thing like January, February, whatever um, I've missed that a couple of times so I've just got a few favourites that are kind of backing up um, and by the way one thing I'm loving is I'm going to move the camera instead of my face actually I'm doing the Illamasqua speckled eyeliner today and I just really like it I think it's really cool and it's a bit different so I just felt like trying something new anyway um, and my room's in chaos just because I have way too much going on uh, in life at the moment because as well as working a full time job I am going back to the gym I have a personal trainer I'm going to get rid of all the weight that I put on that I don't like um, I started ballet lessons again which is definitely a favourite by the way um, and I started singing lessons again because I missed that so I'm going to do the favourites part of the video first and haul second because I think people like favourites more than people like hauls so they can watch the favourites bit and switch off if they don't want to see my haul so I have a few hair things um, so I'm going to start with these Locatan, Loxatan, make your mind up how you want to pronounce it and pronounce it that way. Um, I had samples sitting around for these and this is the repairing shampoo and conditioner and I tried the sample which had been sitting for ages and then just thought oh my god my hair is so shiny, my hair is so soft, I need that. <laughs> um, these are sadly not cheap, they're £15 each. But I do find that I'm not using as much as with other shampoo and conditioners and is it sad that I kind of like the bottle? So they're £15 each. There's 300ml in the shampoo and 250 in the conditioner. Again, I still don't understand why shampoo comes in bigger bottles than conditioners because shampoo foams up, conditioner doesn't. So, And also if you're being good to your hair you only really use the shampoo around the roots whereas mid lengths to end need the conditioner and if your hair is any length that means you'll get for way more conditioner than shampoo anyway um, I quite like the bottle on these, it's got a really small cap so it's not like the ones that are going to crack um, and it's a proper ends like with a pin bit rather than again the ones that can break I think this would be great for packing in a suitcase if you do want a bottled shampoo rather than going get one of the solid ones from Lush because it is such a small and quite tight cap that it wouldn't leak in your suitcase and if it batters off something that won't crack and leak in your suitcase and the hinge won't bust and leak in your suitcase. Scent wise, this reminds me a bit of a therapy massage bar from Lush which I really like so that's fine. Um, it's got essential oils in it which will be why there's lavender another one I don't recognise Angelica root oil blah, 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 blah. A little bit of citrus. Yeah, it's probably mainly the lavender. Oh, there's an English version. Yay! Rather than the Latin stuff that they put. Um, five essential oils Angelica, lavender, geranium, ylang ylang, and sweet orange, and some sweet almond oil. So that's why they're moisturizing and that's why they smell good. But also, I don't think they're so girly that, like, if you had a boyfriend or husband or whatever, they could probably still borrow them. Next hair thing. I remember ages ago watching somebody you um, talk about this. The Bumble and Bumble Does All Styling Spray. It is a straight straightening spray. Now to demonstrate how good these two products were, the shampoo and conditioner and the straightening stuff, I actually haven't done my hair since yesterday. So I washed my hair and straightened it yesterday. I was out for someone's birthday last night. And this is how shiny and straight and soft my hair is. So, you know, I usually end up liking washing my hair every day and it usually doesn't stay, stay straight for anything. And I was out earlier today and I caught in a wee bit of rain and it still looks like this. So, oh, again, this isn't cheap. 
It's a huge can, you use hardly any of it, and because it's a proper aerosol rather than like a squishy plasticky one, um, it, I find it coats my hair better and I feel like it's getting protected more, so whatever. I think it was about 20 quid for this can, but I have used it a few times and it still feels pretty much full, so mm -hmm. yeah. But either way, I'm trying to avoid using heat on my hair unless I'm really going somewhere, so it'll still take me to skip for it. So, next I'm going to move on to skincare, and I have two favourites. Sadly, from the same brand, and sadly, again, expensive. I need to, like, start finding cheap stuff to like again. So, Bliss Sleep Cream Face Mask. I think this is about £30-£40. Pounds. Um, you use it once a week. I've had this a couple of months already, and it's still about half full. Um, it actually comes in two bits, so you just have to put both sides down together, mix it in the back of your hand, put it on. It smells nice, it's not like an overpowering sickly scent, it's just nice and fresh and makes your skin feel better. Even the bit in the back of your hand that you mix it on once you're finished applying your rinse it off, that already feels much softer. It's just a bit of a chemical exfoliant one, but yeah, and for some reason it makes you think of toothpaste when you mix it together. Just the colour it is. So I started having big problems with my pores again, or problems with my big pores again, um, and I went looking for a product, and I'd heard good things about this one, so I decided to give it a try, because at the time I'd done a fair bit of overtime, so I could splurge on it. Um, and this is the Bliss, that incredible peel. <laughs> it's funny. Um, <laughs> incredible peel resurfacing pads. So these are 39 quid for 30. Okay, that's a lot of money. Even for something that you only use like once a day, because you use it at night time. Um, and again, it's just kind of a chemical exfoliant. And then, I guess once your pores start to die off, like mine have done, um, and I only use it every couple of nights, it'll start to last me much longer. But, jeez, it's still expensive. And I was really expecting that when I opened the box, there would have been, like, you know, a wee jar fitting in with the whole, you know, white and pale aqua blue that Bliss does. But, no, it's just the wee flashy things. Um, I don't know, I was just expecting a jar. Um, so I have mixed feelings about it. On the one hand, I think a jar would have been better for just sitting on my nightstand than the cardboard box, it's going to get scabby. On the other hand, if you're going away on holiday or whatever and if you're going away for a week or two and you don't want to miss out on having like a, you know, a heavier duty beauty treatment thing, then, you know, having one wee sachet to stick in your bag is easy. So, you know, from that point of view it's good. They look quite small when you take them out but they've got plenty of product on them. I found that I could do my face and I also done across um, like my chest and my shoulders because I do get spots there as well and you know it helps clear that up as well so you know um, I'm definitely going to get my money's worth out of my rip off £40 for 30 pads um, yeah. so that is it on the skincare side of things um, I'm just going to show this because it's kind of random. I have developed a love for these wee hats. Now, I have a few of these already, but I got two new ones. My mum bought me them in TK Maxx for my birthday the other week. This is a Steve Madden or a Madden Girl one. It's black with multicolour glitter in it. I think this is like £7 or you know, £6.99, but we'll call it £7 because I hate when shops do that. Um, and also this Betsy Johnson one, which is a bit thicker and warmer. Um, it has wee pearls on it, which was like nine ninety nine, which yeah, I like it. I like the wee pearls on it, so whatever. Um, I just wanted to chuck them in there because they were random. So I've got a couple of little makeup bits and pieces. Um, again, there's nothing low end. I don't know what's happening. I usually buy mixtures and light mixtures, and I don't know what's happening here. Um, but I went to wee Mac drip and I haven't been in in ages. And for some reason I ended up buying one of the pressed pigments. I'd looked at these before and hadn't wanted them. But this time when I looked at them, I wanted one. Um, so I actually got the one that's just called Moth. And whoa, that's not showing it up at all. So it's this pale colour with um, a slightly unusual shimmer. It looks really silver when you catch it on its own. 
in real life, but when you put it on, you can sometimes catch a bit of green, which seems to be picking up on camera, but doesn't pick up when I look at it in the pot. So, I can't even remember how much this was. I think it was like £18. No, that doesn't sound right. I will look it up. Um, yeah. So, it's got the same kind of like shimmery finish as you get with lots of MAC pigments. Again, I'm going to have to move my camera because that's not working with the light because it's crap weather outside. So, very glittery. There's some chunkier bits in it. You do get a bit of fallout, so if you're going to buy any of these and you're going to work with them, do your makeup last, like your foundation last. It's just not worth it. Um, I worked with them wet and I still got fallout, so yeah. But that's a very pretty colour. I wanted to use it with moth brown because of oh, moth and moth brown, they're like made for each other. Um, but I just ended up too glittery somehow. The, the shimmer and moth brown just seemed to magnify when you put it beside this. It does look gorgeous with shadowy lady though in the crease. So that was good. And shadowy lady being a matte. And then I got a matte nail polish as well. I'm going to zoom this time instead of zoom forward. So this is Fashionista. Nope, it needs to go forward. So it is a purple with... A, it's like a dirty purple with some shimmer in it. It's really pretty. I think it'll look quite smart on as well. Um, compared to like your bright purples, which can start like a little bit... I don't know, a little bit juvenile. Um, I think this one's just kind of classy and it'll go with a lot of things. So I, I like it. And I like the formula for matte nail polishes. I know some people don't. Um, again, this was a treat from my mum on my birthday, which was not Saturday day or Saturday before. So Next is a teeny tiny sample. This is the Chanel Volume de Chanel, which um, I got a sample of um, for free. I love it stuff. It's so amazing. I don't think I could justify buying a full tube of it because mascara is something that hardly lasts you long enough. Um, you know, like I never get through a full tube of it so I don't see the point. Um, but if you have like a really special occasion, like a wedding, <laughs> um, I would definitely say go down to a counter in a department store and get this tried on your lashes because it's probably going to be the one you fall in love with. <laughs> if your lashes are anything like mine because some people's are different and what works for one person won't necessarily work for another but I love this stuff so yeah I also have a new love in uh, an eyelash curler this one actually came in my glossy box now I've had eyelash curlers before I've had one of the wee tiny plastic ones that you go like that with and it cracked but it was fine um, like before it cracked it worked fine it done the job it was supposed to do I had a cheap one from Superdrug, I think, um, and I've still got a MAC one. And I had to use my MAC one, and there's nothing wrong with the MAC one, it curls them, it doesn't do anything bad. Uh, but this turned off in my glossy box, and I thought, oh, give it a go. For some reason, I just love this one better. The way it's put together, it just moves so much smoother than any other one. And I don't know if, it's, if this is going to show up properly on camera, but the cushion is actually properly padded and has a lot of bounce to it um, which I don't know it's just comfier and nicer to use and I don't know um, I don't know where you get this brand though Emite E-M-I-T-E don't have a clue how you pronounce it but I like it and I kind of like the fact that it's black the only thing that slightly bothers me is the way they've done the handles of this wrap round means as I'm using it my thumb kind of rubs past that wee corner bit there which can kind of hurt especially if I've got like a high nail going on or anything but whatever you can deal with it and then last but not least I'm going to have to put in my um, Illamasqua liquid liners Abyss and Scribe which is the black one and the white one which I use to do the dotty liner look which is now one of my new favourites it just looks really cool and a little bit different and it doesn't take a lot of time but just looks cool and awesome so that is it on the favourites and then I'm just going to show you a couple of things that I've bought in the last couple of days with some birthday money and a bit from payday as well. So I will start with a dress I got which I wore so it's kind of crossover from a haul into favourite because I love it already and it is this leopard print t-shirt dress in this amazing deep blue colour. This is actually from New Look so this was only £15. And you look do a student discount as well. 
so you can get it for 13.50, which is not a huge amount of difference. But anyway, they have loads of left print in just now and loads of really cool stuff. They had a redder version of this as well, but I really like the blue one. I think I like bold, deep colours. Like, sorry, I forgot to clear my memory card before I started filming there. Um, so I was about to say I also bought a belt to go with that dress. Um, I'd actually seen this one on ASOS and then I just went in and bought it when I was in New Look. Um, so it's a waist belt, it's very stretchy, it's got zips around the edge, it's in the middle and it actually opens in the front rather than the back. Because um, what I find with a lot, there's waist belts out there that have like detailing going on in the front but then they put the catch in the back and it just sticks out and I don't know, I don't like it. Whereas they've worked it into the design, I just think that's cooler. This was only 4 99 which I think is brilliant. I got it in size medium large. Um, I would definitely say, unless you're, I don't want to say unless you're huge. That's awful. I don't think I'm skinny. I bought medium large, and I feel like I've got room in it. I should probably have tried on in the shop. Um, just to show you, that's how much extra room I can stretch it to. So I feel I probably could have got away with the small one. <laughs> Which is annoying because there was a small one right at the front and I spent ages hunting for the medium large because I was convinced it wasn't a small medium. Oopsie! Um, so I went into Boots today. Um, oh no wait hang on I've got H&M stuff. I'll do that first just for clothing and stuff to go all together. Um, I got a pair of these, is it monk shoes or something that Victoria Breckham brought around and I don't know. But I think these are pretty cool. Um, they're flat, which I kind of need just now with my ankle, but they've got a little bit of a heel. And they're, you know, leathery material, so unlike my other belly flats, they're not going to let rain in when I live in Scotland. So I've been going to work with soggy belly shoes, which is not pleasant for your feet by the end of an air shift. These were actually £30, which is a bit on the steep side for H&M. Um, so I'm hoping they actually do last reasonably well, or I'll be a bit miffed that I spent that much on them. Um, but I like that they have this wee detail across the toe. They've got like the, like the punctury emboss marks in the leather. That's not leather, by the way, because whatever. So if you're vegetarian or vegan, you can you can still have those. I I basically bought a full outfit to know that. Um, I just got a wee khaki vest because um, so it goes with the skirt, which is the next thing I bought. This was five ninety nine. I just like it's got a wee bit of lace around the sleeves and stuff, the sleeves. It's got laces the shoulders and around the neckline. Sometimes I just like when the lace goes all the way into the armpits because that can be a little bit uncomfy. Um, but this seems like quite decent lace that won't itch as much as some other cheaper ones. So the skirt I got that to go with, and I think we'll go with the shoes as well, is this one. It's fleeted and it's kind of, I don't know if it's meant to be camouflage or like leafy print. But I just liked it. It's got these muted colours. I think it'll be nice for fall, um, autumn. Why am I saying fall? I'm not American. Um, it's a reasonable length. It's nice and loose. So I think that, with some tight shoes, a vest, and a wee black cardigan will be cute. So um, after that, it's like sparkly knickknack stuff. Um, I got a couple of bits in the sale for knickknacks because I love their sale jewellery. Um, this is just a wee beaded necklace, and then at the very bottom, it has a wee thing tiny tiny skull bead uh, but it's a length one so I got it like that that was only two pounds and then I got this just a chain with a black rabbit on it again two pounds I'm obsessed with rabbits and for two pounds I thought yeah I'm, I'm having a bunny and then as much as I don't normally follow trends I saw one magazine I quite like and it was the whole arm cuff thing but near the elbow um, so when I saw this set of bangles, I thought of that, but I'm going to have to adjust them a bit. So we've got one that just has like a filigree leaf thing on it, um, and another that has wee chevrons. And it was only one ninety nine for the set, so I bought two so I can do one on each arm. So, I'm a bad addict child. Right, now we're on to the boots bit. So originally, I only went to boots to buy a brow pencil. I normally use brow powders, but for some reason I have started seeing fallout across my face. Happy for the day from that. And I feel like it's because I'm doing it in a rush in the morning. So for day to day when I'm going to work and I have a brow pencil, I bought the Silk and Glory Arch to Triumph, because it's the arch of your eyebrow. 
which is actually their double ended one that has the highlighter side as well. So we've got the brown brow pencil. This is much fatter pencil than I was expecting, but the nib bit isn't that fat. Uh, and then like a pinky highlighter one. So this was £8 and the pinky highlighter is not shimmery. So I can actually use Makeup by Tiffany D's trick of putting some of that on my finger and patting that in my under eye circles to neutralise some of the first pulse. So I was happy. That's good. Um, so Boots have a buy one get one half off offer on their makeup just now. So I went round and round in circles for ages trying to figure out what else I could buy because I get weird like that when there's offers on, which I realise is not a good thing. And then I realised that it extended to more than just the, the makeup, it extended to accessories. So I went and got myself the Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques because I love Real Techniques brushes. Um, I bought a wee mini set and just kind of fell in love from that point. Um, this was 9 99 So this was 9 99 and then I got the half off the brow thing. So I got the brow one for four pounds. There was a wee clearance section in Boots, which I totally won on. So they had um, a couple of bourgeois false eyelashes. We've just got a, a spiky flared pair. One pound. A little spiky corner pair with black jewels. One pound. And then I don't know if you guys have seen the paper cell flashes, the ones that are all like cut out in their shapes. And I love them. I look at them and think, you're amazing. Would I ever wear you? You're like £10 and I wouldn't wear you. I can't justify it. But would they look really cool? And I go round and round for ages. But then they had some of the really lacy looking bourgeois ones for a pound. And I thought for a pound I can try it and see if I like them. So I might end up not wearing them as a full band once I've tried them on. I might end up cutting them up and just doing cool corner bits. But for a pound, again, it's worth it. I also just bought the Elegant Touch um, Rapid Dry Spray. This is like three pounds, five pounds or something. Um, just because I wanted to try it and see if it's really good. And then I ended up wandering past the Smashbox bit because I I never usually buy Smashbox. It's a thing I don't go for. And then I don't know if everybody has this now, but when I go into Boots and see Smashbox, they've got all these wee like tester kits with miniatures. Now. <laughs> You might remember what I'm like with miniature things, and I really like them. So I bought one that was their like their primer kit. So you had the um, the full finish primer, just like the standard one, in about that size. Um, their eyeshadow primer and their under eye primer. I think that was like nineteen pounds. The eyeshadow primer I'm not loving to be honest. I feel like my eyeshadow still creases with it. Um, the photo finish and the under eye concealer I still love. Not under eye concealer, under eye primer. The under eye primer is pink, so it neutralises your circles. And I sometimes find if I don't use an eye cream, my concealer doesn't blend as well under my eyes. But if I've used that primer, then I don't even have that problem. So it's like an eye cream and colour correction in one. So when that sample runs out, I might buy it. So I actually ended up having a wee nosy at the hydrating halo perfecting powder from Smashbox. Um, and I really liked the texture of it and stuff and I thought, no, behave. And then I looked behind the counter and they had one of the wee mini sets. Now this one was a little bit more expensive, okay. Oh, I'm sure the girl told me it was like £29 or something, but it went through as 25 so that's not as drastic as I thought it was. Um, <laughs> It's much better actually. I'm sure she told me it was like 30, 40 pounds. 25 is much better. So this has um, another miniature of the photo finish primer. Thank God that's one of the ones I like. Um, I've not actually opened this yet so this is quite exciting. I've got a really tiny little kabuki brush which is very, very soft. Um, not so very dense but soft. Um, and just really cute. That'll fit in my wee tiny faffy makeup bag which I like. It has a sample. Oh, sorry, <laughs> got lost there. Sample size of their Camera Ready BB Cream in the shade Fair, which has SPF 35. Um, most BB creams do have an SPF, but 35 is quite a, a reasonable one. Um, this is a smaller set sample of the photo finish, or maybe it's just a different shape. Anyway, it's a good size. <laughs> and then the. Da, da, da. The little mini of the, the halo powder. So 
For those of you that aren't familiar with this product and the way it works, um, my it's abnormal from a normal powder, is it's got this kind of um, cheese grater thing on top. The powder is actually solid underneath and you turn the top and it grinds it off and then you can apply it. So, and it's got a wee mirror in the lid, so that's very cute. I like this as a wee set. I, I mean, I mean, there's your skin care, your skin care, there's your foundation routine. Oops, I can fit them in the palms of my hand. Um, so I'm going to try this for my foundation -y skin base tomorrow and I'm going to use the Archer Trium to do my brows and see what that's like. And yeah, so hopefully I'll be filming that tomorrow and do a wee bit after work of look how well it stayed or didn't stay. I'm hoping for stayed. Now I'm going to go because this is a really long video because I've just realised this section is now over 10 minutes long and I filmed a bit more. E. Oh and one more thing I wanted to tell you guys. Um, as I said I went back to Bali and one of my friends took me to buy Bali shoes the other day. And, you know, looking at the options, you've got the leather ones, which aren't my favourite. I just don't like how they look. Canvas ones, again, don't love how they look. And then the satin ones, which I do like how they look. Um, but the satin ones, they don't come in good colours. You've got that funny baby pink, which is traditional and it is pretty, but it's not me. Or you've got white. Again, not so much me. So I bought the white ones, and then spent the day dyeing them purple. So I now have far more awesome unique dance shows and this is just because stuffed in because they're still drying from when I dyed them. Um, but And I got a little bit on the soles which I'm embarrassed about. But I kept dripping onto the tray and putting them down to dry. So I will be leaving these to dry overnight and then looking back tomorrow just to see if there's any patches that I need to even out at all. So with that I am going to go and I will hopefully see you tomorrow morning doing my new face routine. So, night. And I'm sorry I left it for so long before I came back. Bye, guys.